All right, so thank you for tuning in on another episode of Auto Transport for Dummies, where we answer all the questions for all you dummies out there. So in this clip, we're going to be talking about scheduling, okay? This is clearly something people just really don't understand about auto transport uh, that I really have to explain over and over and over again. Um, and that is the the pickups and drop-offs and the idea of guaranteeing dates, the idea of exact time frames, and people continue to expect a level of service that is just unreasonable in this industry, okay? And let me preface this by saying, when we're talking about exact times like or specific dates and such, do we ask any other transport service to do this? I mean, you think that you do, but you really don't, okay? Because like Amazon Prime, they have a two-day shipping or a three-day or whatever, FedEx, they'll give you a tracking number. They all have projections on the dates, just like in the auto transport world, but they're, they show up when they show up. I mean, it could be two days, maybe it's three days. Uh, they'll give you a notification, let you know it's running behind or something like that, but you don't get to select like, a time frame on the day either. I mean, the truck gets there when it gets there, and that's how it goes. I mean, you're not, you don't get to call in and say, excuse me, Amazon, it's 3 p.m. Uh, we don't have our package yet. What's the problem? I gotta make a flight, and I don't have this package here, okay? Now, when it comes to vehicles, for some reason, people just think it's a totally different deal, and they can they can request like an exact time frame on an exact day and like they're they, they think because they're paying a certain amount of money that's just gonna happen uh, no no it's not gonna happen like that okay do you not understand or does, does do the people like okay there is a truck moving across the country moving across all these different cities do you know how many variables are are, are, are working are, are in play when it comes to this type of thing, I mean, if you're dropping off six different vehicles in Seattle or Fort Lauderdale or New York or Brooklyn or wherever, okay, Los Angeles, that is a huge city. You've got so many factors. What if the first drop off doesn't go super quick? What maybe the person is be, like the customer meeting up with you is delayed or maybe they have an issue that you have to sort out maybe you have a truck like situation maybe you blow out a tire uh maybe there's traffic okay maybe somebody uh you know there's a huge accident they shut down the highway which honestly happens all the time um and you're delayed by even 30 minutes to an hour i mean that can throw your whole schedule off okay um there are so many factors at play i mean what good does it do us or the trucking company or anybody you're working with to say we're gonna be there mr johnson at three o'clock on tuesday december 19th and we're gonna be there right on the money okay well that's nice if like the only thing we're doing that whole week and that day is delivering your car which that's never the case okay got multiple drop-offs multiple vehicles multiple business transactions going on and we're trying to make all those things happen for multiple people. And it's not profitable for a truck to just take your car and that's it. No, I'm sorry. If you wanna pay a good reasonable rate, you have to understand that this, is, that, that this process is very, uh, very volatile. There's a lot of factors involved and you've gotta have a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of understanding as to how the process works, you know? Um, and so whenever you're trying to like schedule your transports, you just have to have an open window of availability for at least like a 48 to 72 hour window. Uh, because I mean, otherwise you're just asking to be disappointed. Really? I mean, now, is it possible to try to make it happen quicker or happen sooner? Yes, it is. Typically it costs more money. But again, it's not like it's completely guaranteed, okay? And then let's compare that to like UPS or Fed. Even if you do overnight something, 
Yeah. It's sort of guaranteed. Okay. It's like 95% it'll make it happen, but I've shipped at least three or four overnighted packages that didn't make it the next day. Okay. So is it really guaranteed? It's not completely guaranteed. It's like 95%, 90%. It's probably not that quite high in the auto transport world, but yeah, I mean, if you want to pay a high enough rate, and again, with FedEx, UPS, guess what? It's like five times the rate, 10 times the rate to overnight something. So again, if you're going to request such a ridiculous service, don't be upset that the price is much, much higher. But everybody has this bizarre idea that auto transport is just this different service and you can just expect all these accommodations because why, you're special? Like you have a fancy car, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean that you are the only person uh, that we're tending to or that another business is tending to. And I'm just making this video so people have a better clue, better understanding that you've got to be flexible, you gotta be reasonable, you gotta understand these trucks have multiple pickups and drop-offs. They cannot completely predict what day they're or what hour they're gonna be there. They might be there on, say, a Wednesday. Well, until it gets to like Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon, they're not going to really have any clue what time they're going to be there Wednesday because it really depends on how far they make it on Wednesday or Tuesday, the day before, how many drop-offs, how their drop-offs go, how their day goes, like if they have any delays, if they have any traffic issues. They got to know how far they make it because if I'm in Dallas and I'm like, hey, I'm going to pick up your car tomorrow, well, that's dependent on me, like getting everything done that day, having a really good trip, having no, uh, you know, issues with my truck, having no traffic delays. So it's dependent on a lot of factors, and you and and they just these dispatchers and trucking companies typically do the best they can with the projections. But you sitting there acting like at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday you know, whatever, you're just going to, your doorbell's just going to ring and they're going to show up and, and you have, uh, your whole day is tied up from 8 a.m. to 1 and 3 p.m. to 9 and you're like, this is the only time slot I've got. Do you do that with Amazon? Do you do that with UPS? Do you do that with FedEx? Do you do that with like any service you ever request? No. No, you don't. But for some reason in this industry, I got one hour on a Wednesday. I need to hear that. Get the F out of here, dude. Like, seriously, just don't ship your car, okay? Or give me a blank check and we'll try to make it happen. But don't freaking expect that kind of service when you don't expect that kind of service with any other uh, transport service in the world, okay? You know, and I, I'll have people call me and say, oh, I've had other transports and I was, they were always like, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I had a guy recently getting on me because we had to get his uh, like F-350 shipped out of like uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Vermont. This guy was upset that the trucking company was like an hour behind. Are you kidding me? Okay. Like... You just have to understand the business does not work the way you, that people think it works. When you're ordering or when you're requesting a transport, nobody is just ordering a truck to your driveway on a certain day at a certain time. Absolutely, it not, that is so far from what's happening here. You basically get uh, your vehicle contracted out and the trucking company gets there as close to the date ranges as they're giving you as possible and they deliver it as close to those dates as they're possible. And these are all projections. Nobody is ordering a truck. This isn't a dedicated service, okay? This isn't a single car hauler where the only thing they're doing is do dealing with your car and that's it. No, it's not, okay? If you want to pay a good rate, then be flexible, be understanding, and just allow the process to happen how it happens and be patient and it will go well for you. So uh, with that being said, I'll wrap that up. That's my rant on the scheduling. Hopefully you all are in the know now and happy home.